Right, so sorry for my absence. The boy has finished hill climbs and then just stopped making videos. No real reason why, apart from I just got into, out of the habit of it. And then, I don't know, the longer you stop doing it, the more you don't want to start. But anyway, I'm enjoying off-season, or was. I uh, had like a week and a half off, was very enjoyable. Um, and then, you know, got back to riding a bike and all the rest of it. But this video isn't about that. This video is about ETAP and how to hack, SRAM and ruin them. But first, just a quick plug for my mate. He's selling these things called brick caps. They're really cool. They're like Lego heads that you screw in onto your Presta valves. They look sick. Um, I'll give a little link below. Um, they're really cool. Definitely check them out. Ideal for a Christmas present for someone if they like riding a bike. Uh, but anyway, now we're going on to SRAM. So, if you didn't know, SRAM makes 12 speed. Now, SRAM has made 12 speed for quite a long time, actually. Um, maybe like three or four years. Anyway, the issue with the 12 speed these days is that back in the day, 11 speed, everything was cross compatible apart from Campagnolo, which was sort of fine because it was Campagnolo and it was weird. But now, SRAM have a different free hub driver. So, you don't know what that means. On your wheel, you've got a free hub and they have different types. And before, SRAM and Samano. SRAM and Shimano were the same. SRAM is now different and that's a ball ache because if you have got old wheels they might not make a free hub that works and also it means if you want to change things across you've got turbo trainers or wheels you, you can't change them so that, that's very annoying. So Mr. AliExpress Charlie Kai was thinking how can I get round it? So I, my first thought was okay I know they make AliExpress 12 speed cassettes, Rotor also make 12 speed, 12 speed cassettes that fit on 11 speed free hub. So I was like, okay, that's quite cool. Um, actually, before that, first of all, the reason I wanted 12 speed was because I wanted uh, ETAP on my time trial bike um, because routing it is a massive effort because it's from 2011. They stopped making the 11 speed blips and before about two weeks ago, the 12 speed blips didn't work when 11 speed derail it. Now they do, so my issue is slightly irrelevant. But anyway, so I was thinking, how can I get how can I get this 12 speed uh, ETAP derailleur to work on my bike? So I was thinking, okay, so a blip box works with a mountain bike rear derailleur and I knew a mountain bike rear derailleur worked with a standard 12 speed chain so I was very confident okay that would work perfectly um, with you know just a standard 12 speed chain standard 12 speed cassette that you can just buy and you know no XDR stuff nothing like that so I thought about that I actually bought the derailleur then I think about it my mate was like it's a time trial bike you don't want like massive um, resistance on it because it's a mountain bike derailleur and it weighed like 530 grams so I thought okay 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 so I sent it back and I was thinking again, I was like, okay, how can I do this? And I thought, okay, I'll get a 12, I looked at the 12 speed um, pulley wheels and they're the same as my 11 speed pulley wheels, which I have. So I bought a rear derailleur with a SRAM one, but it's like the new style. So it's basically an ETAP derailleur, but for 11 speed, but the pulley wheels are the same as the 12 speed. So then I was convinced that, okay, that means they're not specific to 12 speed because some people think the pulley wheel could be specific just for the flat top chain. But anyway, that's irrelevant. So. I then thought, okay, I'll buy a Force, buy an AliExpress 12 speed cassette, and then basically after that, uh, just hope it works. So that's what I did. So I bought this Force derailleur secondhand for 200 quid. So that's quite good. I mean, I hope it should, it, now I think SRAM has sorted out that rear derailleur issue, so it should be fine. Uh, then I bought a 12 speed cassette from AliExpress. It was out at 50 quid. I got an 1132 12 speed, outrageous. And then my front chain ring is just a stand one. I've actually got one here. Um, sorry about that. Um, I mean, I've actually got one here. It's just a standard like AliExpress stone one. This is a 58, but I've got a 54 on at the moment. Uh, this just says, as you can read here, well, you can't read because it's backwards. It says 9, 10, 11. But anyway, that works perfectly. Um, and so I'll show it to you now, but you're going to see me shifting through it. Obviously, I haven't indexed it perfectly, but it does shift. I've ridden on it. Absolutely fine. So um, yeah, basically, that's how you can mug off SRAM. So what you can do is if you just use a, uh, an ETAP derailleur, 12 speed, then buy a standard 12 speed cassette so you can get it from AliExpress and get a rotor one if you want to spend loads of money. But they all fit on 11 speed free hubs. Now, the way they've done this, I believe, is that there's obviously the like tolerances, and I'm pretty sure they've just changed the tolerances slightly so that they fit. So it might be a little bit tight on some wheels, but anyway, it worked perfectly um, on my wheel, tightened it all up, all good. Then I'm using a SRAM mountain bike chain just because they're really resilient. So when I ride like my training chain, it won't wear at all. Um, that was also because I was going to 12-speed mountain bike chain, so I wanted to work. But for racing, I mean, it's a YBN 12-speed chain. They seem to be the quickest around, and I'll be waxing that and all the rest of it. Because apparently YBN, the way they coat it, makes the wax stay on really well. Um, and then, yeah, so it should be good. I've got my blip box here. Um, and this is the other thing. I've got my AliExpress blip, um, blip box. Uh, sorry, blips. So they obviously plug in like this. They've got this, like, sort of classic thing. Plug it in. Works perfectly. So again, these are really good if you just want like short ones because the blip ones, I actually got one here. Um, 
like they're quite big, they're quite chunky. They're okay for time trialing, but if you want to do sprint on them, they're a pain to cable. But these, you can get them climbing, so they're a bit longer, or you can get the sprint ones, they're probably half the length, and then you can plug them into like just standard um, like shifters as well on the road, as well as time trial ones. And they also make time trial ex uh, extensions to go on the end. So again, that really works. So in conclusion, SRAM make you try and use their special XDR cassette, the flat top chain, which is one of the slowest chains on the market, but you don't need any of it. You can just genuinely run it with standard 12 speed stuff and it will work perfectly. So that's my video for the day. Hopefully I'll be back making some new ones, some more ones uh, in the future. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy and we'll see you in the next one.